friends, welcome back to Sense, the cyberpunk ghost story part 3. If you remember last time, we got to the third floor and harassed some crows which ate us. That sums that up. Um, we saved on the bottom slot. Should have loaded. Um, a quick save. I think. Yeah. Much better. Right then. Let's not bother the crows this time. Wait. Can we flash at the crows? No. <laughs> I don't think that would work, but worth a, worth a shot. That's 301 storage, which was locked. Uh, damn it, another locked door. I just want to find a way out of here. Yeah, me too, girl. The knob doesn't turn and the door won't budge. There isn't even a number up. This mustn't be an apartment. Let me just make sure I'm actually recording properly. Yeah. Ah! I wake up in the middle of the night, about 3am. Oh, I'm thirsty, or oh, maybe I should get some... play some scents. That'll be fun. In the dark, it's now half four a.m. I am sat here in the dark playing this game, and I think it was a bad idea. Probably, um, <laughs> decision immediately regretted. Oh, that's good. Pull ourselves together. An offering cup, but I can definitely use this. Apartment 304. Of course. Apartment 304, the door's locked. Maybe I can find a key around here somewhere. Tower statue of some kind. It feels lighter than it looks. I'm just going to walk. I don't really... Uh, lost. Lost cat. Oh. Flyer for lost cat. It says to contact a Maddie Mao in apartment 505 if the pictured cat is found. This door is also jammed. The stairs collapsing must have affected more of the stairwell than I thought. Doesn't seem to be working on this floor. These elevators are so old it isn't that surprising. Apartment 305. The door is locked. There's police tape covering the door. Odd. Something must have happened here just before the building was abandoned. Yeah, okay. What could go wrong? Oh, the door is unlocked. Other than being completely terrifying, something feels off about this. Other than being terrifying. Yep. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, check the kitchen. The sink is bloody and rusted over. Sink is bloody and rusted over. It's a large plastic bag with a rusted zipper. There might be something useful inside. If I can find something to loosen up the zipper, I can open the bag. Can I not look at this thing on the floor? No, I guess not. It looks like a shrine, but the offering cup has spilled ashes everywhere. But the offering cup has spilled... Can we not replace it? The table's covered in dirty dishes and what looks like college homework. 
There's also a plastic bottle, which I seem to have taken. A phone cup has spilled. It's a wooden fish statue. It looks like it's got some kind of religious significance. Traditional line dance heads. This tenant must have been a hard-working and dedicated person. The training required for the line dance is pretty intense. There are plenty of books on chemistry and science here. There's even some classic comic books. This guy had great taste. Hmm. There are also some self-help books spiralling in. A study in overcoming anxiety. West England. Oh, a Betamax tape. It looks like a college student's desk. It's covered in textbooks, homework and notes. Amazing how little has changed in nearly a century. There's even a staple remover. This staple remover may come in handy at some point. Examine chart. HG80. Mercury is circled. Maybe something to do with an, assi uh, an assignment. Read note. It's a note from a friend or classmate. Hey Kev, I know it's not your bag, but you've got to come with us to see the new slasher flick. Stop being such a wuss. Plus, Joey is bringing a few hotties. We can finally show you how Americans have fun, bro. P.S. Kelly will be there. I know you had your eye on her. JP. This guy reminds me of some of Maiko's friends. But some people just like staying in, you know? A box of old Chinese firecrackers. There's no guarantee they'll work, but it's worth taking them with me. Just a bathroom. The patio and the door seems to be unlocked. It looks like an old thermometer holder, though the thermometer itself must have fallen out at some point. Just like before, I feel there's a barrier separating this building from the world. The city looks almost deserted. Despite the decades of weathering, all this junk and garbage has somehow survived. Nothing useful here. I keep forgetting to interact with stuff multiple times. Just like before. Yep. Looks like an old thermometer holder. Yep. Salmon chart. HG Mercury. HG 80 Mercury. Looks like a shrine. We can't touch the thing on the floor. Oh. Large plastic bag with a rusted zipper. We don't have anything to loosen the zipper yet. Check in the kitchen. The sink is still bloody rusted over. And the pig head is still gross. So, what did we pick up in there? Needed as. Oh, yeah, we'll just. Keep walking. Don't really want to run after last time. I just, uh, I don't want to scream again. Locked. We've. It's so light. Maybe I should look underneath. Okay, that's some logic. Check under the statue. Oh, there's a small panel screwed into the bottom of the statue. This must be for hiding a spare key. A coin or something similar should pry open easily. Hmm. Open with a gadget coin. Got it. This must be the apartment key. Oh, I don't really want to go in there. Uh, locked. Use the key. And quick save. A pair of young girls' sneakers. The shoelaces are a cool, hot pink colour. The shoelaces are made of nylon and still in good shape. They could prove useful. Well, here comes the music. Completely ruined the mood. There's a note here, underneath a scoop of some kind. Read note. It looks like a note from a local grade school. It's dated June 19th, 1983. Dear... Oh, uh, Mrs... I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I'm sorry. 
We understand your decision to remove Suki from the school system last year. Or Suki? We will hope that you will reconsider as your enrolment period is coming to an end soon. I know that Suki had several incidents that forced hands on both sides. But I firmly believe that with weekly counselling we can work with and truly help Suki become a happy, well-adjusted young girl. Please call me if you need anything. I would like to help you and her in any way possible. Guidance counsellor. You get sound elementary school, or budget sound. Take scoop. Scoop should come in handy, especially for tasks too gross for me to handle barehanded. Oh, it looks like a melon scoop. Nothing to say here. Guess I know where that's going. A giant feng shui mirror. I can feel a draft coming from the cracks. There appear to be a few pieces of the mirror missing. Maybe putting them back will give me some answers. An ancient hand fan. Even despite the damage and ageing from a hundred years in this place, the fan has held up well. There seems to be some kind of Taoist incantation or prayer written on it. The table's covered in Taoist statues and tokens. Wait a minute, this looks like part of a giant Feng Shui mirror. There's a girl's backpack there. More joysticks and offering cups, these will come in handy. A small children's backpack, it's filled with school supplies. It's still filled with school supplies. Can I take any of them? Nope. Don't want to enter the bedroom yet. An old folding camera. I never thought I'd see one of these up close. Wait a minute. The markings around the lens are strange. These kanji are incredibly old. KSL? That must have been the person who built this camera. It's obviously one of a kind. Am I going to steal that too? A messy desk covered in towers, charts, scrolls and manuscripts. There's a large and ornate book laying open. Read book. A calendar from 1983. Several numbers are highlighted somewhat randomly. I wonder if there's a correlation. It's an old manuscript detailing various types of spirits and demons in the Taoist religion. Some of these feet reached urban legend status and are only barely recognisable now. Looking further, this book seems to describe methods of exercising these types of entities. The tenants of this apartment must have been priests of some sort. Didn't I have two bangles before? It's a bathroom. Years, probably decades of time has created mould and smells. I'd be better off not inhaling. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh. Another jade bangle? I wonder if it will protect me like the others did. There's also a journal on the nightstand. It's handwritten in Cantonese and appears to belong to someone named... That, that name. I'm sorry. The journal is filled with entries detailing the difficulties of raising a young girl, Suki. It seems like this family was struggling quite a bit, but stayed strong despite their troubles. A traditional gold ink wedding painting of two dragons encircling each other. Typically these depict a dragon and a phoenix, so two dragons must have some special significance. A nightstand. It reminds me of the old man's. A simple alarm clock, a lamp, a and a cup rings over the and cup rings cover the top. There's also a Betamax tape. Wow, well, my flashlight does nothing. There's a framed photo of a little girl. There's a framed photo of a little girl. There's still a framed photo of a little girl. We should probably take it. But we're not going to. We are going to save it again, though. Uh, do we go? Are they always there? Oh. 
Okay, but we're not running. School supplies. I have to say the, the atmosphere in this game is so good. I need to find both missing pieces of the mirror. Okay. Exit to hall. Odd. The door knob turns and it doesn't look like it has a lock, but some kind of force is keeping me from opening it. Alright, what have we accomplished in here? Oh, we got a scoop. I'll probably scoop whatever that thing was in the pig's head out. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Play a game with me. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, what's your name? I'm Suki. Let's play Bouncing Duck. But no cheating. If you do, I'll be mad. Oh, uh, I lose. I win. I lose. I win. Um, woo. Oh, Cheetah. But what a sore loser. Everybody is known in kid like that. Oh, what the hell happened? The floor must have collapsed. It looks like I'm in some kind of basement. I've got to find a way out of here. The lobby's on the other side of this rubble, but where the hell's the exit? Did the city build it over it at some point? Either way, I need to find another way out, or at least a way back up to the upper floors. This debris, it's filled with glass and other dangers. If I can find something to push the rubble away, I can go back to the lobby. Yep, filled with glass and other dangers. The TV is off, but there appears to be power running to this room. Um, not really sure I want to turn it on. But... According to police reports, the gunman acted alone but I'm so on in edge. executing all 13 members of the Chongqing Gambling Club. It's still unclear if there is any connection to remaining triad groups operating in the international district. Uh, authorities are currently... That broadcast must have been from 1983. How is this possible? With a Betamax tape, I can record my progress here. Well, we're not ready for that yet. We will look in the rest of the room. There's a sign-up sheet for some kind of weekly event. Okay. There's a magazine laying open on the coffee table. It looks like Suki really loves games. Shall we save here? This is going to be a safe room. Um... I'll have a look in the rest of the room first. An old arcade unit, I've heard of this series from the golden age of score-based action games. They stopped making them at some point in the early 2030s, though these units look like 1983 originals. Not yet. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, we're gonna save it. <laughs> and then interact with those things. Doors. They're commonly called. With the beta max take, I can record my progress. And we shall record. Because we're pussies. The door is labelled laundry. It's worth a check, I guess. I'm getting so tired of locked doors. Yeah. Getting so tired of locked doors, yep. Yeah. Guess it's down here. There's a sign on the door. It says salon. Employee entrance only. Maybe I can find an exit or an answer inside. It's unlocked. Unfortunately.
I hear what sounds like breathing. There's a cash register, an old cassette plate machine of some sort, and a logbook on the desk. Check logbook. It looks like an appointment logbook for this hair salon. It's filled with names and dates. One name appears quite a bit. Sally Fong, for all kinds of treatments and stylings. There's also a paperclip. This could come in handy. Cash register. Open register. Registers mostly empty except for dust and a few quarters. Uh, examine the cassette. The machine appears to be plugged into the phone. It's This is probably an answering machine for recording missed call messages. It plays miniature cassette tapes, but the tape's missing. Leave. That's some old Cantonese. It looks like it's written in lipstick. It's a bit older than my generation's lingo, but I think it says lying whore or something to that effect. Okay, that did maybe scare me a little. Another Minikiniko. 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 Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wonder if it's a bank like the one in the call space. Bingo. A set of keys. One looks like the other apartment's keys, while the other set says laundry. There appear- I, I saw that. I saw that to the left there. There appears to be something plastic clogging the drain. An old rubber floor mat, probably for making the stylist's feet more comfortable while standing all day. Examine drain. I can't quite tell what it is. Maybe I can find something to pull the clog out with. Ugh, gross. Use paper clip. Well, this is a bit disgusting. It looks like a miniature cassette tape. It's completely wrapped in hair. That is gross. Rubber floor mat. A wooden broom. I can use this to clear away the rubble without getting hurt. Thick broom. I can't carry any more right now. Oh, is that a bangle? The decor's so old now, but this place was probably super chic when it was open. What? Micah would love to see this. I can barely see outside. I don't anyone can hear me or see me in here. I would run, but I'm still kind of on edge. There's a cash register. Yep, examine cassette machine. Uh, yeah, place one of the cassette tapes. Tapes missing. Play the mini cassette. Okay, let's give this a try. Sounds like a very angry woman yelling in Cantonese. She seems to be accusing someone of being a liar. If I find any more tapes, I can play them here. Do I even want to come back here though? A painting of a Japanese woman in a beautiful kimono. I wonder if it's the woman who owned this studio. I'm gonna save again. Because I don't want to go back in there. I'm getting so tired of locked doors. We'll use the key then. Uh... A janitor's closet, it's locked. There's a pin padlock on the door, something feels familiar here. An old coin exchange machine. An old coin exchange machine. Did I have to interact with the register multiple times to actually pick up the quarters? A vending machine. It still has power and somehow it feels like it's still keeping the drinks chilled. I am pretty thirsty. I suppose it's worth a risk, but each drink costs $1.50? Okay. I'm hearing things that I don't like. I should check the coin return. Another quarter. There's nothing here. Maybe the coin return has some quarters left? Damn, empty. There's nothing in here and the coin return is empty as well. Maybe the coin return has some quarters. Nice, one more quarter. Uh, 
Oh, uh, this game. Didn't it just allow me to cycle for a second there? Oh, okay. One dollar fifty. I'm not. Yeah. Can we scam the machine? There might be some quarters left inside. Two quarters and a gacha coin. How did a gacha coin made just a few years ago get in here? Each drink costs one fifty. How many quarters do I have? Do I have a dollar's worth? Okay, wait, we may be cheating a little and still got it wrong. Perfect. Hopefully there's something useful inside. Typical janitor closet, but there is a large bottle of sealing cleaning chemicals. The chemical is marked nitric acid. Typical janitor closet. Nitric acid. Do we not want to take the nitric acid? So let's go and check the um, the register again. One register. Open the register. Two quarters. I can use these. In the vending machine. There we go. Each drink costs one fifty. Um. Is there one that I need? Might just leave that. Well, let's go and see if we can push the rubble. This debris. It's filled with glass and other dangers. If I can find something to push it, the broom will work. There, the next problem is the electrical wire over the puddle. I need to find something to cover it with. That will ground me as I pass by. Rubber or thick plastic are the only things that will work. Well, then that'll be the rubber mat in the store in the salon. Something's going to pop out in here. I know it. I know it for a fact. The rubber is thick enough to protect me from the electrical wire over the puddle. Interact. Alright, yeah, I don't have any tapes. I need to find something to cover the puddle with. Okay, it's a bit risky, but there's no other way forward. Plus, I see a light switch around the corner. I should only need to worry about this once. Yes. Yush. Can I go back? Hey, save. <laughs> Do we need anything in here? Mm. I don't... Interact. Just like before, it's still just a painting. There's a mini cassette and a Betamax tape. The third drawer is still locked. The third drawer is still locked. Shall we go play the cassette? Yeah, I'm not running anywhere because I'm I'm scared, okay? A 
cash register, limiting cassette. Let's try this tape out. I don't like it. That voice, it sounds so familiar. Is she saying my name? Oh, I don't like this. Why did I ever choose to play a horror game? On my own. In the dark. Oh, uh, let's just go and actually buy a drink. Because I don't want to come back, really. Um, water will do fine. Nice, a second kind of water came out. I can drink one and save the other for later. Ah, much better. Not sure there was... Oh, well, yeah, I guess I got the extra water. There is that... Well, in the back in the elevator, I guess. Other than two and L, the buttons still don't work. Oh, are we just on the second floor again. Uh, do we run? I should run. I'm not really a huge fan of it though. Please let the fl just look away from the mirror. Where am I even going? Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. Oh wait, wasn't this the manager's desk? This is the apartment manager's desk. I might be able to find a key for the storage room here. Oh, I found it. It's convenient. The storage room, was that on... Was that the first door that I looked at? On the third floor. I think it was. Was it? Is it this one? Yep. Gonna save it. And I'm actually gonna go for a toilet break.
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
What was that?
was that?